to my channel if you're new around here and you don't know who I am my name is Jodie and I like to create beauty related content here on this channel so if that's something you guys are interested in make sure you are subscribed and click the bell just so you're notified of every single time that I upload so for today's video we're going to be reviewing testing swatching the new cash beauty color trip palette um, I wanted to get my hands on this since it launched a few weeks ago um, but I wanted to get it on Be Perfect because I knew I could get a bit more discount on there um, so I picked it up over on Be Perfect and it's arrived ah. you can now also get this on Beauty Bay as well so if you guys want to see what this palette is all about what it looks like, a bit of info about it let's just get straight into the video okay so a little bit about kind of the palette and the brand I guess yeah it's a relatively new brand they've only had one previous launch which was like their or like two previous launches which was their like original launch they launched two palettes the crystal nights and they've got another one released a bunch of lipsticks and lip liners and then they did another launch where they launched some like sculpting sticks and then they've had this launch which is the color trip launch there is more within this um collection there is only one palette but um i know there's sponges there's brushes um there's lashes there's a few other bits within this but i only had my eye on this so this retails for 39.95 you can get it on beauty bay and be perfect along with the cash beauty website this palette is cruelty free it is vegan the really exciting thing about this is it has not just eyeshadows in but also aqua liners this is what it looks like on the front it is stunning i don't know how many it doesn't tell me anything like how many shades are in it or anything it just says ingredients on the back which is a bit annoying so in here you get 20 eyeshadows and then you get technically 10 aqua liners um obviously they're split pan aqua liners so we're gonna see how that is to use i actually haven't taken this off yet i haven't swatched any of it yet so let's take this off Oof. and this is what the palette looks like in full it is absolutely beautiful there's three shimmers the rest are all mattes you know that i love that um on first glance i think i like i obviously really like it um i wish there was more of a variant between this green and this green see on camera they look totally different but in person they look a bit more similar um, and there's only one blue matte in this palette, which is this blue here. Um, I kind of wish there was a lighter blue in here. But as always, we're going to swatch this. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to swatch the aqua liners on the bottom, just because that's going to take a bit more time. But I will be using um, at least one of them today, so I might do it, I don't know. So if you want to see what the swatches of this palette are like, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so we've got Gleam, Electro, Riches, which is a shimmer, wow, and Vibe. So that's the first four colours of the palette. These are beautiful. Look at that shimmer. That is gorgeous. By the way, I'm going down each row at each column just because it's easier. Next row we've got Trippy, Soul, Hot Stuff, Brave. Okay, I'm going to go back in with Soul and Hot Stuff. So that's the first two rows and that is the second row. Okay, third row we've got Free fantasy which is the other shimmer oh wow punk and toxic so that is the third row it's a full purple row that shimmer is stunning both the shimmers so far have been beautiful next we've got acid hmm lucid hypnotic which is our last shimmer wow and chill 
So that is the fourth row. That first colour is a neon yellow, so it's not swatched to the best, but obviously swatches does, doesn't mean anything. Like, it's not going to tell us whether it's good or not. But I like to do swatches just to see what the colour's like. Because I feel like you can't 100% tell the colour just by looking in the pan. I think they always look different. Okay, the last row is a lot more of a nude row. Personally, I think with a colourful palette, I'd, I'd want a white and a black, but I wouldn't necessarily want browns. Like, I think the browns could have been replaced with um, a few more, like, other colours. So we've got Dazed, Dream, Retro, and Wasted. That is a very pigmented black. So that's the last row. Kind of got that everywhere. Um, so that is the th third, fourth, and fifth row. Okay, gonna go off camera as per usual, put my P. Louise base on, and then we'll come back and we will start the eye look. Okay, so I've primed one eye. I'm gonna be doing this look today, which is a look I did like this time last year, but I'm gonna recreate it just do it a little bit better um so yeah this is over on my instagram i just thought i would do my recreation look for this today um using this palette because i'm pretty sure it has all the colors that i need it to i think i'm gonna go in with hot stuff first and take that on my inner corner I'm going to blend this one out with a bit of Brave, which is the orange. And then I'm going to take Electro, which is not the neon yellow, it's the second yellow next to the white. And I'm going to just kind of blend it out. Now I'm going to take the shade Chilled. I'm going to put that on the outer half. I'm going to take Dazed and I'm going to put that over the top. And then again I'm going to take the yellow over the top of that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to intensify this and then we'll come back to put the shimmer on. Okay, so I've intensified the look and I've cut the crease with blank canvas. Now I'm going to go in and we're going to pop the shimmer on. I'm going to take it on a Morphe M213 and I think I'm going to take the hypnotic blue shade. But I might end up taking fantasy which is the purple. I'm taking a bit of Toxic, which is the purple, and I'm just going to like try and blend. Okay, we're going to try an aqua liner now, which I'm very scared about, but we're going to do it. So I'm going to take this on a Peaches 40, PC46, which is a tiny, tiny, tiny rush. Right, and I'm going to do a white line, I think. You know what? This isn't that bad. You know what is bad? My liquid liner skills. It has the tiniest amount of cracking, but I think that's more my skill than it is the liner. I actually don't mind those liners. I'm gonna try another liner. That isn't too bad at all. I don't think that's that bad at all. My liner skills are not great. In terms of applying, I have the shakiest hands. You know what? I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Right, I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do the other eye. I'm going to put lashes on. I'm going to put my face on. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to discuss my thoughts about this palette. Sorry, you couldn't even see me probably then. So I'll be right back after this. Hi everyone. So I'm back. And as you can tell, I have a full face on now. 
um i'll quickly run through what i've used so i used Too faced born this way foundation mixed with a little bit of conceal and define from revolution just because it's a little bit too dark for me then i used the becca ultimate coverage long wear concealer and a little bit of collection last imperfection in shade one because the Becca one's a bit thick i find um powdered with the revolution coconut powder sleek life proof concealer in caramel latte for my contour and then used the xx rev demo bronzer blusher i used the super dewy um you got me blushing liquid blusher and then over the top i used two shades from the revolution flamingo palette for my brows i used brow soap and then cabral from benefit i know the shade oh the shade isn't like the perfect shade for me with this colored hair but like i'm having issues with the p louise paint so yeah um what else highlighter is the get wet highlighter from be perfect this one is soft silk it looks really dark but actually because of the way that th these are formulated um you don't get a cast or anything there's no cast on my face right now and look how wet they look they're amazing definitely pick them up if you haven't already uh on my lips i have the p louise lip liner achievements which is the lighter one out of the two i then have the dose of colors bear with me lip liquid lip and then just a gloss from lip lash over the top and then my lashes of are of course Estelle Cosmetics in the style Tess so that's everything on my face I think also just to let you know I took the shade Chill which is the blue shade that we put on the outer corner underneath and then the inner corner in a half is the shade Trippy because I thought I could add in another colour so let's discuss this palette so in terms of the eyeshadows i like the ratio of mattes to shimmers i personally don't like a lot of shimmers in palettes um, and i use more mattes and i think this is a great representation of being able to use a lot of mattes to make like a rainbow eye or you've got enough mattes to do like a really nice purple look to do a really nice pink look my only criticism is that i would take the browns out of this palette personally for me I would rather there be more blues in here, maybe another orange. And this shade here, which looks red, actually, when you when I put it on my eye, looked more pink than red. So potentially a more red shade in this. In terms of the shimmers, they are that um that elusive putty kind of formula. So they do go on super super pretty, but they do take a bit of um getting used to and to be honest you can use your finger with them you probably get a better payoff if you used your finger than a brush i just personally like using a brush in terms of fallout there was literally minimal fallout with this palette the palette didn't create a lot of um kick up or anything like that there was a slight little bit with the shade chill um more than there was with like the shade hot stuff which was the um red so that one's chill there which is the blue and this one is hot stuff I would say that hot stuff is pressed a lot harder than the likes of chill um but i don't know if that's just to, to do with like the color variation and, and the way that colors are made and stuff but for me it felt like hot stuff was pressed a little bit harder um in terms of the liners so i did swatch three of them and i used obviously the white one it has cracked but i think that's more to do with how much layering i did on my part because i'm not the greatest at liner it's something i really need to work on um so it has it has cracked however i wouldn't i wouldn't say these are bad at all i do understand so my friend rebecca tried this out she's she didn't like the liners in this palette um she said they were very watery and i can see how they can be watery just because you've got split pans to begin with i just kind of wish that they did another row and just made them like full aquiliner colors so that you've got 10 full ones um i can see how they can be quite runny if you put too much on but i think i did all right and they didn't it didn't seem too bad at all um i would definitely get a little like dish and like dip your brush 
in the dish and then like swirl it around in these rather than like wetting them with like a spray or stuff um i've just found that easier for me but i i personally like them i am going to play around with it a little bit more so i might do a second video using this palette if you guys want that and we'll use the aqua liners again and we'll see what i think um but for a first impression i really like them and all round i really like this palette there was literally no fallout on my face i think for the 39 pound 40 pound that this is i actually do think it is worth it you've got 17 matte shades which are really really nice really pigmented they blend really well you've got three shimmers which are super pretty this one was really pigmented so i might use that one next time but we'll see um the only other criticism i had was the yellow it this one is more of a pastel yellow this one is a neon yellow i feel like it needed a yellow in the middle of those two because it, i don't know it just didn't go as well as i thought it would with the rest of them um I, th I definitely think it needed one in the middle just to like go along with some of the other shades um but all in all i think if you were thinking about getting this or you've been looking for a new rainbow palette maybe looking to try out some aqua liners i personally think you should get this one over the likes of the morphe what is it over this one don't buy this one the aqua liners in this are rubbish um the aqua liners in this are better um so if you're someone that's been wanting to try aqua liners but you're a little bit skeptical um maybe give this one a go like i said they did crack i don't know if you guys can see that but i think that's more me than it is these so like i said maybe we'll give this another shot do another video on it for you guys but if you did enjoy today's video make sure that you do give it a big thumbs up don't forget to comment down below and guys we are getting ever so closer to our 500 subscriber goal which if you didn't know i'm going to be doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers so if you're not already subscribed to my channel make sure that you are click the bell just so you're notified let's get to 500 today as i'm filming this we are on 473 subscribers so we are nearly there we're getting there anyway i'll see you guys in my next video bye